Hello everybody. We finally come to the uh, the test, whatever it keeps asking for, the, the 20 bar test. And uh, I'm only testing two cartridges today. First of all, the 32 gram five, the black gold fiber. And then we're going to test the, uh, the 34 gram four and a half. Both tests are going to be done at 50 yard and we're going to shoot the, uh, the B15 Bullchamp uh, Browning, which Browning kindly sent me uh, last week. I've already tried it in the field, very impressed in the field, but now I want to go put it on the pattern plate and see what it's doing as far as power's concerned and pattern's concerned. We're using half choke. And if you tune into the film as well, uh, where I shoot this uh, for a drive, it's a beautiful gun. It feels perfect and it handles and comes up beautiful. The picture that I like to see, see I like to see plenty of comb, which keeps my eye on the bird all the time. Oh, but I did enjoy shooting it in the field and I'll definitely be having a return journey with it. Conditions are absolutely perfect for a pattern test. There's just a slight breeze, but it's in between my industrial buildings again, as normal. But we're going to put the range finder on just to settle people's minds that we are at our 50 yard mark, which is the post here. Lovely, spot on 50 yards. The 32 gram five, that's what's going in the, in the barrel first through the half choke. The cartridge is, uh, I mean, this is wood to wood. I prefer on the 12 bore, I, I always have a absorb all or a kick ease. Uh, this is wood to wood, so you, you can feel it a little bit with a 32 gram five. There's plenty of power in these cartridges, but uh, let's go down and see what it's done to the DVD. As you can see on the uh, at 50 yard on the DVD, which is the bird itself, which is we're trying to put as many pellets on the bird. So I expected it to be two or three pellets, but I've been pleasantly surprised. There's, there's two it there, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten pellets of it. This thing that is a dead bird without a shadow of a doubt. It's got a, a bit of a gap here, but it's got plenty of pellets around. I've probably pulled to the right hand side with that. It's showing a uh, good pattern down this side and, and centre. Plenty of smoke. As a, there's no difference between a, a 32 gram 5 20 bore to a 20, uh, 32 gram 5 12 bore. The power's there. It's that's sitting very hard. Um, we've got a pellet stuck down here, let's just have a look at it. It's what I call pancake, it's it very, very hard. There's nothing, if that pellet hit a bird in the body, to, it wouldn't survive it anyway. And that's a devastating load for whatever, you'll get two or three pellets on any bird on that, at that range at 50 yard. That is definitely a dead bird. Absolutely full power, lovely. That's a fantastic result, that. Back at the 50 yard back to test the uh, the 34 gram four and a half. That's through the half choke with the 34 gram four and a half. And uh, I must say, I've only got uh, one pellet, one strike, one on the edge and uh, it uh, it's just looks as if I've pulled to the right on this because most of the pattern's down this right hand side. So I'm going to put a three quarter choke in for the next one because I think when you're going a bigger pellet, obviously you, you've got less pellets. So I always go the other way with the chokes as well. So I'm going to put a three quarter choke in and do another test with a three quarter choke. As I say, it's not a gun that's fitted to me, so it, it looks like it's pulling to the right on me. So I'm, I'm going to, my next test, I'm going to put three quarter choke in and I'm going to just aim slightly to the left just to counteract that. And as you can see, it's all, which is the, the right hand side on the front of the pattern plate. Very powerful load. If you look at the bottoms, it's drilled through these. 
But we're going to put the three quarter choke in now and test this again. It just might be that it wants choking up a little bit, tighten it up a little bit and try and correct the, uh, the angle that uh, I've been shooting at. Swap the RTO for three quarters, so we'll just see if that tightens the pattern up a little bit. Retest on the four and a half with the three quarter choke. And I'm going to physically just drop the gun to the left hand side a little bit of the DVD, still below it, and just see if I think it's more of gun fit as well, really, with the pattern. For all you that look intrinsically at what I do, you know, because I get a one or two say, oh, he's balancing his gun there, if that falls over there and goes off, right? Everything's stuck to magnets, and it's my adjustable magnet as well. When I go on a 12 volt, it goes up there as well. <laughs> it's a sliding sticker for my guns. It fits any gun as well. 20 bore, 410, and the 12 bore or the 34 inch, the 36 inch if you want, fits any size. A lot better pattern, more even, but I did suspect the gun were pulling to the right and I just aimed down. That's nothing to do with the, the cartridge, all down to the, the fit of the gun really. Still only two pellets on the, on the DVD, but I don't take much notice of that. It's got two pellets, two pellets would have killed any bird, but there's plenty of pellets here for that bird to run into. Anywhere in that area, with the power of those pellets, that still would have been a dead bird. There's plenty of, uh, it's a good uh, pattern is that. There's plenty of pellets there to, to catch a pheasant or a partridge. Half choke with 32 gram fives and uh, Three quarter choke with the with the 34 four and a half is quite effective. But I did like the 32 gram five. I thought that was an ideal load. And we can see now we've laid them together that the uh, the four and a half got got more power, but there's still plenty of killing power in that 32 five. And you can see the pattern a little bit better. It's, it has the three quarter choke has tightened the four and a half up. I hope you've got enough information to have a bit of confidence in going in the field with, uh, with these cartridges. And uh, if, you, if you ever do need a fantastic looking gun and something that, uh, that's capable of doing its job, then the B15 boat jump is a fantastic little tool. And something that uh, I think I'll spend a couple of days in the field with in the future. So we'll, we'll probably do a, a full film just on 20 bores and we'll do the same on the 16 bores. I've got a 16 bore coming, so uh, keep his fingers crossed. It comes within the shooting season and we can get out and just show uh, people what that's capable of doing. So that's okay for now and we'll see you later. Thank you.